important to stand united because together we're strong, divided we fall, and, you know, and that's what our brothers before us done. The importance of the union for me is, is really beyond belief because I come from an iron worker family. It's all I've ever known. I couldn't imagine anything if this place wasn't union. There would be no leverage for us, leverage for anybody. Without uh, the union and the unity, then you, you have basically nothing. The union teaches us brotherhood. Brotherhood, man, you gotta have each other's back. You gotta watch out for each other, you know, and, and love each other. This is a life bond. You have family. This is a different family. It's a brotherhood family. For the young people coming into the trade, I would strongly suggest that they get involved in your union. I mean, if we don't stick together, you know, we're all gonna lose everything. <laughs> Militancy is committed focus, almost like a, a stern, united aggressiveness towards a common goal. I'm thinking about bringing back some of that spirit, being willing to, to go into action, to do things, to help make things better, to show up to political events, to be engaged, to show up for rallies, demonstrations. Militancy can be used as a bad word. But to me, it means that the individual and the members as a group can, can stand up for their rights. The reason I got in the union when I was 23 years old, I would be working two jobs and you know, it just wasn't paying it. It wasn't, it wasn't cutting it. And then, uh, you know, when my wife was pregnant with my second child, I needed a better job. As a father of four, I have uh, one son, 20, and three daughters under age. Without this job, this level of pay, I, I don't think there'd be any way we could make it in today's world. We definitely would not have a roof over our head, that's for sure, you know, we'd be like most of these kids living with our parents at an old age. One of the accomplishments that I've been afforded by working in the union is just being able to provide my family, my child, my wife with a better opportunity and, and all the amenities of working hard. When I got into the union, I was uh, surprised. I, that's when I learned that there is a middle class. I learned that the middle class is basically for the unions. They're trying to sustain the middle class. That's basically what I'm learning from the two years that I've been in as an apprentice. I went through some dark times in my life where I fell and my brothers, iron workers were there for me through thick and thin. You know, when I got back on my feet, they were here to help me out. You know, they, they helped me get back in, in the work and made sure I got to work every day and helped me out in a way that no one else could think of doing. And, I'm grateful for those brothers. As far as uh, people are telling you that you're getting overpaid, we get that all the time. And like I said, it's, I take it personally because obviously they don't know what we go through every day, you know, and what the consequences at the end of your trade is. I mean, you end up with hurt knees, your back is gone, your back is shot, your neck is shot. These are things that they don't see. It's not a job, you know. If you're coming into this looking for a job, go find a different one come in this looking for a career. It's really provided us a good lifestyle. It's given me the opportunity to be home with my children more than most people. And uh, our medical benefits are amazing. Our children have been born in top class hospitals. A union gives you what you don't have, medical. Take the kids to the doctor, uh, you know, the eye doctor, the dentist, you know, they're, they're pretty good benefits. Growing up, my parents didn't make good money. You know, we hardly ever went to the doctors. And you know, I want to give them what I didn't have growing up, you know, a better life. As retirees, we've kept our same lifestyle that we've had while we were working. Nothing has changed. Apprentices that are coming in should also see that, hey, you know, this is, this is not just for me, it's for my family for the future. A lot of kids don't see, they, they, they just live for the weekend. But this trade is to also secure the future, not only yours, but for their family. If it wasn't for a retirement plan, I'd still be working every day probably out there in the rod patch with all these other guys. We have our lunch breaks, we have our weekends. Because of my union, my family has good medical benefits. They have opportunity to go to college, go to school because of my working class wage. If I'm flipping burgers, they're not, they're not gonna be able to have these opportunities. My children's pride and ability to see what I do every day to make what they need gives them that sense of pride and that sense of dignity to go out in the world and make it a better place. They know how hard it is to get by in this world and they respect it. The only way we can come back is learning from the old guys. We need to take care of our older guys, bring them back on the job or, you know, have them out there 
working again. I, I rarely see that anymore. When you look at American labor history and the people that have died to create these unions, people should know your history and everything that is involved with the unions and everything that has gone before us. There's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that's gone into this union and our brotherhoods putting them what we have now into place. If they realize what we've gone through to get here, you know, back in the 50s and 60s, they fought a lot different than we do now. It's important for us to know our history because where our brothers before us have, have came from, what they had, the, the work conditions they used to have to deal with that were unheard of today. Like if you tell some of these guys what they went through, they wouldn't even believe it. A lot of people die for the union and you just gotta stick together. You know, if not, then it's all gonna be taken from us. We're professionals. We don't do sloppy work here. You know, that's what some, some of the non-union guys do. They do sloppy work. And they're not safe like us. Like you see, see those two guys, they're tying up 100%. That's safety right there. I think if we don't start changing things, quit talking in circles and start actually coming to meetings, you know, showing up to vote, get involved in the political process outside the job site, that we're going to lose this. It's going to collapse. Come to every meeting as possible. There's very important. Get educated on what's going on in your union. Don't let other people make the decisions for you. You need to fight for the local for better wages, better way of living. Raise your family right, you know? Loyalty, loyalty to the all. That's all I've been screaming this whole time to everybody. You can't think you're gonna get something from not working for it, you know? Members should be involved with the union uh, just to show their support and the unity of everything that the union does for us. Go to the campaigns, be involved with the meetings. That's gonna show your support and also so that you can express your feelings and involvement within the union. I've been involved in picket lines where we were attacked. We've had stuff thrown at us and, and we were actually literally fighting for our work and it, it was been chaotic. And, but that's what we do. We are, we're out there fighting for our work. It's, it's more than just putting your tools on and coming to work. It's about uniting together and being strong as one, one local, one international. Cities need these hospitals to get built, they need these uh, schools to get built, bridges to get built. So what you need to do is go for the head of the snake is the city. Go to your city council, let them know that you're there, that they need to hire union workers. Look at daughter, look at son, look, daddy built that building. And it, it just feels great, it feels great. Just to be a part of something, building America, building a stronger America, it feels great, it's lovely. I love what I do. My goal is to have a powerful local union that has an engaged membership that is active, whether it's politics, whether it's organizing, whether it's community events. It's uh, combating apathy. It's engaging people, educating them, motivating them, and inspiring them, and coming up with solutions and, and, and communicating it in a way that, that engages people. And people want to come and participate in this struggle to make things better. I got a couple of buddies that came from non-union are so so damn hardcore, it'll, it'll scare the shit out of you. They're so hardcore um, iron worker, hardcore union members, and they came from non-union because they know how bad it is. And those guys are solid. A hundred years ago, organizers went out and worked with the non-union people and they motivated people to join unions. And that's what we need to get back to. People talk about going back to the good old days, right? The things that worked was when the unions motivated the workers in their industry to rise up and demand better wages, everybody benefited. If you look through our ranks, if you go out on the job sites, there's a diversity of people. It doesn't matter what race you're from, what country you're from. At the end of the day, we tell everybody that, that iron doesn't see color. Whether you're white, black, Hispanic, Latino, alien, green, red, blue, it doesn't matter. As long as you're out there pulling your weight, and making sure that your brother next to you is safe on the job site as well. Uh, you're part of the family. We strengthen the local, we get our union pride, and you know, uh, older guys need to get these younger guys and teach them the union way, the brotherhood way. And it's, it's endless what we could accomplish if we, if we unite together.